Welcome to this educational video on social learning theory. Social learning theory, proposed by the renowned psychologist Albert Bandura, builds on behavioral principles but places a greater emphasis on the impact of cues on behavior and internal mental processes. The theory suggests that learning is not limited to direct experiences but extends to observing, imitating, and modeling the behavior of others. According to Bondar's concept of observational learning, humans are remarkable observers, and through this process, we pick up new skills, behaviors, and attitudes simply by watching others. Whether it's mastering a scientific experiment, or learning to successfully deliver a speech, our ability to observe and replicate actions is a powerful tool for acquiring knowledge. Based on social learning theory, much of what we learn is not simply shaped by the outcomes of our behavior as suggested by Skinner but is more efficiently learned directly from modeling, that is the imitation of others' behavior. But social learning theory doesn't stop at modeling. It also considers the impact of others' successes or failures on our learned behaviors. We constantly learn from the consequences of the behavior of those around us, shaping our personalities and influencing our choices. According to Bandura, we change and modify our behavior by seeing others reinforced or punished for engaging in certain behaviors. In the classroom, for instance, when one student is fooling around, teachers often single out others who are working well and reinforce them for doing a good job. The misbehaving student sees that working is reinforced and might get back to work. Self-regulation is the next piece of the puzzle. According to Bandura, individuals observe their own behavior, judge it against personal standards, and either reinforce or punish themselves. Social learning theory emphasizes the idea that students can be taught self-regulation strategies. One way is to teach students to set goals for study time, record progress, and self-evaluate their work. Students might, for instance, be asked to grade their own essays in terms of content, mechanics, and organization, and to see whether they can match their teacher's ratings. Social learning theory reminds us that we are not isolated learners but interconnected beings, shaping and being shaped by the world around us. In the classroom, teachers are not just transmitters of information. They are models, demonstrating problem-solving, critical thinking, and social skills. Thanks for watching.